How's it going you beautiful people of YouTube? Okay, today I want to talk to you guys about a subject that most of you should know, but just in case you don't, I want to give you my take on this one and it's Bitcoin. Um, so if you haven't heard, Bitcoin's a cryptocurrency. Um, in general, this video is not just about Bitcoin, but it's about all cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, whatever you want to call it, bunny token. I was getting like random ads on YouTube all the time about that one. It's probably a scam. I don't even know if it's still around. But anyways, I'm just talking about cryptocurrency in general. You're not going to get rich off of it. Yeah, I'm just going to say it. Rip the band-aid right off. Youch, it hurt a little bit. I know. But unfortunately, you probably know this already. You're not going to get rich off of cryptocurrency. I'm sorry. It's just facts, bro. <sighs> now, why won't you get rich off of cryptocurrency? Come on, man. Why won't you tell me you're such a hater? Okay. It's very simple why you're not going to get rich off of cryptocurrency. The reason is you're too damn late to the party. You know, you already missed everything. You know, the DJ's gone. Everyone's left. You're there. Everyone's there. And they're like, hey, we're here to the party. What the hell happened, right? Basically, what I'm trying to say is that ship has sailed. It's come, it's gone. See you later. If you are one of the first people on Bitcoin, congratulations. I guarantee you're not watching this video because you're one of those Bitcoin billionaires or you got millions of dollars or something. But when Bitcoin really, really started to make worldwide news and get pumped up is when it went into the thousands, like thousands of dollars. And when did it get to its fever pitch? When it was above $10,000. Yeah, $10,000. And then it went as high as about $20,000 in like a month. And then what happened? The cryptocurrency crash as we know it basically. And that was in like December of 2017, January of 2018. And basically throughout New Year's and the rest of 2018 it sank and way off of its highs and definitely no longer surpassing them why is this and i'm not just talking bitcoin because almost like the marijuana market when one of them is down all of them is down and when the main one is down like say canopy growth which is bitcoin the other ones like uh you know chronos and aurora cannabis and all the other ones start to fall down too and literally is the same with bitcoin when bitcoin basically the canopy growth of the say weed market starts to fall you know litecoin ethereum go with it basically chronos canopy or uh, aurora cannabis all the other ones there's so many of them um but this is literally the same type of market just like you're probably not going to get rich off of the marijuana industry, you can make a decent profit. Uh, so you can do that on Bitcoin too. You can make a profit, but you're not going to get rich. That's that's the facts. You know, when you see those ads like... A lot of people ask me if I can actually make them a Bitcoin billionaire. Then I ask them one thing. What color you want your Lambo? <laughs> Some bullshit like that. Like those ads are just so stupid. Come on. Like really? Fuck off. Get out of here with that bullshit, right? Goddamn fruity looping bastard. I don't know. They look weird, man. Guy look like he has some shit going on. But whatever. Moving on. You're not going to get rich off Bitcoin. I'm sorry to say it. It's just, it's the truth. Like most things, if you're the first to the party, if you're first in line, you get the goods, man. If you're the first one there, if you're the first one in the line, you got your pick. You get in front row CC. You want. Line up to a, a want to go to a concert, you're first in line at the ticket box back in 1990 or whatever, and you're first in line, you grab those tickets, you got front row tickets, probably not because some other scalper and all those bastards bought all those tickets, and somehow it's the first second of ticket sales, and the best thing you get is 30 rows up. You know, I don't even know, man. I just, I struggled a little bit with Ticketmaster, okay? I'm just telling the truth. But, you know... I'm just saying, you're first to the party, you're first in line, you get the good stuff, man. When you're back in line and you already know, like, and everyone knows about it, you're not getting good seats, man. And you're not going to make money off Bitcoin just basically for that reason that everyone knows about it. 
And man, I'm sorry to those people who bought Bitcoin so high because to me, Bitcoin's a very, very strange subject because it's not, you know, it's one of those things where, yes, everything in life has a value and the value is determined by what someone else is willing to pay. Super true for pretty much everything and Bitcoin is no different. Bitcoin's value is determined by what the next person wants to pay. Uh, you know, if you went back a hundred years and you had all the Bitcoin in the world, you tried to sell it to someone for a hundred dollars, they would laugh at you and go, what the hell are you talking about? It's just one of those things because they would have no idea what you're talking about and it would be, you know, it wouldn't be valuable to anyone really back then, especially before a computer, it would be literally useless. You at least need a computer to use Bitcoin, right? So yeah, so now we're in a time where you can use it but is it really worth say six thousand dollars or twenty thousand dollars or you know when it was at its height people were saying oh yeah bitcoin's gonna go to a hundred thousand and you know that's just the start so all these people are like oh my god i can make you know nine eighty ninety thousand dollars all i gotta do is buy one bitcoin i just made easy money listen guys I'll be honest with you guys, unfortunately in life, there's almost no such thing as easy money. Anything you do, you had to work for it, or at least, you know, be smart enough to see an opportunity. It's not that easy with Bitcoin. You're not just going to buy it like that and it just goes up. Unfortunately, that's not how life works. You know, my girlfriend, uh, I told her to invest a long time ago and you know what she told me? She told me, stocks can go down. I said, yeah, uh, of course they can go down. And she's like, well, that's, that's a risk. I said, of course, what the hell? And she was like, why don't they just go up? I was like, wouldn't everyone buy it? If literally you looked at a stock graph and it went straight up like this, it was just a straight ascending graph. There was no ups and downs. I was like, listen, in life, nothing is perfect. You don't wake up every single day and go, life's perfect, and you're on a straight ascending path up. That doesn't happen. It's just not realistic. So to think that you're just going to buy a stock and it's going to go straight up, that doesn't happen. Look at any market. The housing market goes up, it goes down. In the long run, it goes up for the most part, right? If you pick a decent house in a good neighborhood in a good city, it's just facts. It's the same with stocks. If you pick a good company in a good industry that makes money, it's going to go up in the long run. Yes, there's recessions and people lose money, but hey, in the long run, if you stick through and weather a storm, things go up, man. It's just simple as that. It's so simple, but so complicated for so many people. But it's funny at the same time, because that was funny when she said that. I was like, of course, of course, it's not just going to go straight up. I wish it would sometimes, but then everyone would buy it and then it would crash harder than it's ever crashed because nothing goes up forever, right? Fortunately, in the stock market, that's not necessarily true. It can technically go up forever, but like anything, you know, if you're going up for like, say, 100 days, which is absolutely ridiculous, I don't think any stock has ever gone up for 100 straight trading days, but like one piece of news come up, comes out bad, it's gonna be blown out of proportion. People are gonna think that stock is done now. And it's just going to go downhill from there. But that's just how people think. People are irrational, right? That's why the stock market is irrational. Because people are rational and people are traders. Simple, man. But yeah, you're not going to get rich off Bitcoin. I'm sorry to tell you that. Uh, I'm sorry, bro. Girl, I don't know. Boy, girl. I'm sorry, man. You're not going to get rich off that. Move on. Find a new venture. Please don't hold out hopes on that. Yes, this topic's more worn out than pretty much anything in life. It's more worn out than probably first piece of gum I chewed or something. I don't know. Things probably long gone, disintegrated. I don't even know. What do they do with gum? Like, just throw in the garbage? Like, what's going on, Phil? Serious question. I don't know. Anyways, it's a question for another day. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this kind of weird rant that I went on with Bitcoin. Uh, it's kind of fun to make, actually. Uh... Maybe I should do a more in-depth video on Bitcoin and all those other cryptocurrencies. I don't follow them too heavily. I follow them enough to know about them, but not enough to want to invest in them. Um, I did go on Coinbase and I did buy $100 worth of Bitcoin. And I think, uh, I, 
think it's $86 worth of Litecoin. Um, I didn't buy very much. I just kind of bought it just for to monitor it more um, because I wasn't really monitoring it that much. So I was like, you know what? If I invest money in it, I'll probably monitor it more. I still have it in there. Actually, I haven't even checked on it in months, but I don't think it's doing well because when did I buy it? I must have bought it about a year ago, actually, because I bought it before Bitcoin went to its highs. Um, I didn't plan on buying much. Again, I only bought $100 of Bitcoin, $86 of Litecoin. So obviously I had no intention of going crazy on it. Um, but yeah, I uh, probably bought it somewhere around August or September of 2017. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up. Hey, if you're a Bitcoin billionaire, comment down below. I'd love to see what color your Lamborghini is, or your Ferrari, or your Maserati, or your McLaren, or your Bugatti. I don't know, man. Your Rolls Royce, whatever you like. What do you like? You like jacked up pickup trucks, Ford, Chevys? I don't know. What do you What do you like? Audis? Audis are sweet. I love Audis. You know, got an S5. Maybe you got an R8. I wish I had an R8. Those things are freaking sick. Maybe you got a BMW. Well, you got M5. Those things are deadly. M4s, M3, M6. M6 not really like, I mean like I8 though, I8, whoa, you like a little hybrid in your life? Oh, 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 you didn't know I know about cars? Oh, oh shit, okay, yeah, I know about cars a little bit, How at me, bro. Anyways, guys, comment down below um, what you think about Bitcoin, what you think about cryptocurrency in general, that would be kind of fun, and, uh, you know, if you want. Like if you were to just click that red button with the little play symbol or whatever, click that button, click that red button. If you want to click it, you can click it. But, you know, if you want to smash it, you can smash it too. That would be even better. So smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, maybe even turn that bell notification on, you know, get notified every time I post a video. Comment down below if you would like me to post a video on a cer certain topic, let me know so I know to holla at you. And let you know what I think about that stock, that sector, that company, that whatever, I don't know, thing, whatever you want me to talk about. I talk about it. If it's interesting, why not? I'll do it. I'll do it. All right, guys. I've been ranting on way too long. You're probably tired of seeing my face. So, till next time, guys. See you later and have an absolute beautiful day.